Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Alyssa. Today we have a little bit of a different haul for you guys. Typically I do try-ons and this one is gonna be a, if you can tell from the title, a luxury designer haul, what I bought in Paris. I got a lot of requests for it. I was a little hesitant and I know I don't owe an explanation to anyone. It's my life, my money, whatever. But I just wanna say, I had been planning for this trip for over a year. So knowing that I had been just saving my money, like saving like crazy because I knew I went to Paris in 2015, was just obviously blown away my first time being there and the designers and all that. So this time I was going in completely prepared, which I was and yeah, so basically, if you don't know, buying designer over in Europe is a little bit cheaper for a couple reasons. It's in the Euro and, okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically when you go there as an American, you don't have to pay tax. It's called VAT tax. When you go back to the airport, you apply for the VAT tax refund. It's the value added tax. And you scan your forms at the airport and then you're on your way. And then basically within like a month to two months, you get refunded the tax, which is nice. And then also designer in general is just a little bit cheaper over there because there isn't those import costs that we pay over in the States. So basically Europe is the best place to buy designer. So knowing that I definitely went all out and I don't regret any purchase that I made I'm really happy really excited everything is either very usable it's classic it's timeless and yeah so basically that's what this haul is gonna be and I feel like let's just dive right in I'm really excited so real quick I just think this is so funny. So when you do buy designer overseas, everything comes in beautiful boxes and bows and it's like really hard to bring it all back. But literally my toxic trait, I swear I'm like a psycho when it comes to this, is bringing back the bags and the boxes because I just, I love the branding. I love the presentation. I love the history of brands and designers and all that. So I just feel like, oh, I just love designer so much. Like why me? Why does it have to be me? Um, but yeah, so basically I tried to bring back as much as possible. So this is what it looks like in my suitcase, you guys. Okay, so I, so this is obviously a Celine bag and it was raining that day. So when it rains, they give you this like plastic cover to protect your purchase. And yeah, so I pretty much put like the bags in here. There's even like more shopping bags. I like stacked everything in and then I put this clear bag over it and then I put it at the bottom of my suitcase and that is how I was able to bring the bags back as well and also I did have another suitcase on hand as well I just I knew what I was going to be doing I knew the damage so I just planned ahead and I was prepared and everything worked out so let's just let's get started Another one of my toxic traits when it comes to shopping is I like to keep things brand new in their box for a little bit. I like to just let them sit there, let them be and just like soak up their newness until I use it. So I literally haven't even opened this yet and I think I've been back for a month. The box, the bow, everything is just so pretty and yeah. So you're gonna watch me open it here. I don't know why I'm like this. I just like pretty things. I like to keep things new in their box. I take really good care of my things. So one of my first purchases on this trip, we went to the Dior store. It was stunning. They had a Dior cafe inside. It's the one on Avenue Montaigne. So pretty. So my first purchase there was this Christian Dior bracelet. So story behind this, I feel like this might be a longer video, but that's okay. Story behind this is I typically buy myself a piece of jewelry or whatever for Christmas. And this past Christmas, I bought a Chanel bag. So I was like, not gonna buy <laughs> the jewelry too. So I already have the ring and the necklace. So I was like, oh my gosh, I will buy the bracelet in Paris because it'll be cheaper than here and it'll complete my collection. And I just love things that have stories to them. So now I have a story for this piece, but you can see it's just like the classic, like. CD 
piece and I just feel like this will be timeless and it matches my collection. Again, like I said, I leave things in their boxes <laughs> for too long. So I like to keep everything new. So this is the next purchase that I made. We went into the Gucci store. I have been eyeing this for a while and they just happened to have one left and it was my size so i took that as a sign and i feel like i'm planning on using these pieces for a new york fashion week look so i'm really excited so basically i bought this like gucci monogram bralette set so it's the bralette and then it comes with the like I guess underwear as well but basically the way I'm envisioning styling this is with black trousers where like this is high-waisted so if I wear lower waisted trousers these will show and then the bralette with like a black blazer or something chic like that um, and then also this was a splurge this was definitely not planned but I saw them and I fell in love and I just felt like they <laughs> were gonna complete the outfit so we went ahead and got the Gucci monogram gloves let me put one on so yeah I do obviously have an outfit in mind and yeah whenever we were in the store we really just like justified things it was kind of bad but basically look at how cute like I feel like you see these on Pinterest in photos and just feel like what a classic iconic look and I feel like eventually it'll be like vintage and yeah <laughs> I love this next purchase was really fun me and my girlfriend Danielle we had been dreaming of this moment for a really long time made a TikTok about it it's kind of going viral I don't really know but we had been manifesting buying BFF Cartier rings in Paris and so we did that so this is my first piece of Cartier um, I love the love rings. I think they're so classic and iconic. So the whole process was really cool. They're all like serial numbered and everything. So it comes in this really pretty box. This I did open because I wanted to wear it. Um, and then if you've never seen Cartier before, it's just like a really pretty box like that. Um, I do have it on. We got the thin band as you can see, but yeah, so that was really cool that we got to do that together since we had been manifesting and saving and waiting for that moment so yeah so this next one is it was a little bit of an impulse buy but i feel like it definitely goes with my style i'll definitely get my wear out of it and i feel like the way we justify things to ourselves is price per wear so if you're gonna wear it and use it then obviously it's worth it and so we were at the saint laurent coffee shop which is by the tuileries and it's just a little kind of like no, it's like a hole in the wall. It's obviously nice, but like there's no seating or anything. So you just like walk up, get your coffee and go. And it's right next to the St. Laurent store. So I don't know, we walked in and I just wanted all the little accessories, like so cute. Like the napkin say St. Laurent, the croissant paper said it, like everything's so cute. But I saw this hat, it's a YSL baseball cap. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I style baseball hats all the time. Basically a baseball hat and a blazer is like my go-to. So I just thought like how classic and cute and I'll definitely wear it. Um, Cause it definitely goes with my style, but I just loved it so much. And I've already worn it honestly. So was a good purchase in my books. So cute and a good memory. Like I just, I don't know, I'm one of those people where I attach memories to things, which is probably not the best thing because then you kind of keep things for longer than you should. But I just love things that remind me of certain memories and I feel like this is kind of like that situation. Moving right along, we did visit the Polen store. I thought it was Pauline for the longest time, but they told us it was Polen. So Polen, love their handbags, their leather, and they're such good quality, I'm obsessed. So while we were there, I got to pick one out so so cute this is I can't tell if you can see it this is the uh, micro so adorable so so cute I know you're gonna be like what do you even put in there honestly a lot okay let me tell you first of all how freaking cute I have been eyeing this it's just so cute to sling across like a blazer or something 
but here I'll show you the inside. So that's what it looks like. So I definitely envision myself fitting like some credit cards, even my full wallet, lip gloss, tampons, car keys, mints. Like this looks like it wouldn't fit a lot, but I feel like it would. And then I'm never personally concerned if my phone fits or not, cause it's always in my hand anyway. So yeah, we love her. She's so cute. And Polen is seriously one of my favorite handbag brands. I have so many. I actually should make a video on that because I have, I could say a lot about them. So if you guys want me to do a Polen handbag review, let me know in the comments below. But super cute. This was gifted by the brand. I love them so much. So thank you Polen for this stunning little mini bag. I'm saving obviously the best for last. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what it is, but um, okay. So Next is gonna be Celine. So funny story, I bought a handbag from Celine in college, which I 100% should not have done. I could not afford it then. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it anyway. Still have it, love her. Obviously regret that I did that, but like happy that I have the bag now. So I don't know. But in Paris, my love for Celine was reignited. I'm obsessed with the brand. I think it might be one of my top three favorite brands right now. Um, so I went a little hard in the Celine stores and we just kept going back because I would see something and I'd be like, oh, I'll think about it. Like, I don't know if I need that. And I'd be like, I can't stop thinking about it. I have to go get it. So I would go get it. So let's go through all of the Celine pieces. So like I said, I'm a sucker for things that attach memory to it. So this is a Celine candle. Yes, it was expensive, but yes, it's worth it. This is the store that I got it at is the only store in the world that you can buy a Celine candle at. So that's, that's what gets me the only one in the world. Like, okay. So bought the candle. This is what it looks like. Honestly, it's very aesthetic, very my vibe, and it smells so good. This was literally the last candle, which was like even more of like, you have to get it. It's the last one. It's meant to be like, that is my toxic mindset and I need to work on it, but it smells so good. And I just thought like once I burn it, I haven't even burned it yet because I'm just like sav savoring it. You know what I mean? But once I'm done with it, I can clean it out and then use it as a either like pencil holder or makeup brushes. So I definitely will get the use out of it, but yeah, definitely a little bit of a pricier purchase for a candle. This is the most I've ever spent on a candle, but worth it and it smells so good. So this next one came after like all the Celine purchases and I was like, you know, this will just tie the look together when in Paris. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so I got these like Celine socks. Like when I tell you my love for Celine was reignited, like obsessed. So I just got these socks. I felt like they will be so cute for fall with loafers with the little detail. I love that. I appreciate a little detail. So yeah, bought some Celine socks. Tried to bring as many boxes back as possible and I feel like I did a really good job, but I obviously couldn't bring all of them back. Um, but the next piece. So we got coffee with a um, Paris fashion blogger. Her name is Alex Fashion Break. She's so sweet. I'm so happy we got to meet up with her. I saw this in the store and I was like, oh wait, I don't need that. It's cute. But, and then I saw her wearing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. I swear you guys in Paris, like everyone is wearing Celine and then everyone in the United States is not. So I feel like it's coming. Like the Celine moment is coming and I am so ready for it. So the next item I got is this Celine belt. I feel like it's so classic and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it and styling it. But I just like, I know the Gucci belts had their moment. I have my Gucci belts still, but this is just so like iconic. It's a little thinner, I feel like, and it just kind of gives that like Parisian chic vibe, which is honestly my aesthetic and my style. So I just feel like I could wear this and style this with so many things, especially with fall coming up. So honestly, so happy about this. So excited to style it kind of like a more like, I just feel like this elevates your look so much. Like if you're wearing black trousers and black blazer and whatever top, cool. And then you throw this on like so good. So yeah, 
we love her this is like the newer like rebrand from Celine because I believe they got a new creative director so love that love the belt and other fun fact is when you go into the Celine store I saw this on Pinterest so I was like on the lookout I was like looking because I was like if I'm spending money here I want this so you ask for water in the Celine store and yes I asked for water in every designer store I went in no one else have these but I saw this on Pinterest so I knew I knew it was coming um <laughs> they have these cute water bottles and they are free like and it's it's glass so I just thought it was like so nice. I actually have two of them and yes, I did bring them back with me because they're just so aesthetic and as a content creator and you know, posting fashion all the time, I felt like this was like a good prop and it's just kind of like something to have that's like really cute. I don't know. So I was really excited about that. I get excited about the small things too, but yeah, so I have two of these and you'll see them in my post because it's very aesthetic and I was waiting for this like i thought like chanel would have one maybe prada maybe dior no celine had the water bottle which made me love them even more so another celine item yes brought some boxes back this this was another one where i was like oh i don't know if i need that like i'll think about it and then i went back and got it um saw these everywhere i'm so obsessed if i can get them out These are Celine sunglasses. How cute. And again, they have the Celine logo, the rebrand logo on them. And I swear you guys, everybody in Paris was wearing this, like everyone. So I was like, yes, so cute. And they're so like, they're a different shape than what I typically have because my Gucci's and Prada's are more square and rectangular, whereas like these are round. And just look how stunning like this is a very classic like chic minimal clean look with just a little pop there so if you can envision like the sunglasses with the belt kind of just tying the whole look together these have been sitting in their case too because i just want them to like be new but yeah i love them okay on to the next item again it is celine so when i went to paris i fully had a shopping list like i had items i had a budget i knew like what i was looking for some things i couldn't find some things i saw them and didn't love them as much as i thought i would in person like the celine sneakers the like high tops i thought i was like gonna be so obsessed with them and then saw them and i wasn't so i didn't end up getting them but this was something that was on my list yes kept the box made it home um so cute it comes in this little thing so if you can tell it is a celine bralette and i feel like this is the year where i've kind of started investing in designer clothing pieces like i feel like i've always been into bags and shoes which i 100 percent still am but now i'm kind of investing into clothing a little more which is nice so obviously i love the little bag that it comes with i'm a sucker like i said for branding aesthetics like keeping all the packaging but i wanted this celine bralette i thought so cute and classic just to style it i think i'm gonna make another like casual new york fashion week look out of this with black trousers and the belts and the sunglasses like literally tie the whole look together um but yeah i feel like the stripe one was trending but i'm just not a stripe girl and i just know that i will wear this more like classic black with the white band so very happy with this very excited i like i said i'm literally obsessed with celine right now so yeah i cannot wait to wear her but until then i just like to keep everything in the packaging i i literally couldn't tell you why i'm like this but it just like keeps it new. I like I like that feeling of new. Maybe a little too much, but so cute. This is my last purchase from Celine. And then we're almost done, I swear. I know you're probably thinking like, wow, this is so much. She spent so much. Yes, I did. I know I did. Used my Amex, got points, have insurance, like planned for this, saved up my life. Like this is my life, so anyway. <laughs> okay, so. The bag that I mentioned earlier that I bought in college was the bigger version of this one and I thought they stopped making these and that I was eventually going to purchase it from like a um, 
um, pre-owned used website like Rebag or something like that. But I just asked in the store and I was like, do you guys have this? And she was like, yes. And I was like, oh no, pray for my wallet. Danielle was like, oh God, she's gonna do it. <laughs> but I did it. Like I had been eyeing this bag. I follow this girl on Instagram. She has one and I've literally been eyeing it for two plus years. So I know it's something that I'll use and love. And I'm so excited. So it is the like i think it's called the micro luggage tote like so yeah i bought the big one in college because i feel like it was trendy then and like all the girls had it and i definitely was trying to fit in when i shouldn't have and i bought it and i don't know why but i have her i love her so i bought the small version and i love the small version because it comes with a strap which is so nice. I feel like black is such a classic color as well. So there were two options essentially. They had a few more, but for me, I liked the black. So basically there's the black with the gold hardware and it's the smooth leather, as you can see. And then there is the black with the silver hardware and it's like more like pebble leather, I guess is what you want to call it. I just, I wear gold more, so much more. So I was just going to stick with gold and the belt is gold. The sunglasses are gold. Like everything was gold that I purchased. So I was like, I just want to stick with that and keep the whole look together. So I bought her. I love her so much. She's so cute. I did wear her in Paris, so I did open her, but yeah, I can't wait to wear her more and kind of give my classic, my classic Chanel that I bought a little break because I use her a lot too, but yeah, I just, this was from the old creative director, so they, I, they stopped making them, so eventually they will run out, so I have a feeling like in 10 years, like this bag will be worth some money, so I'm really excited. I take really good care of my bags. As you saw, like I keep it in the dust bag that it always comes with and I try to like keep their shape as well, but I'm so excited for her and I think she's so cute. You can also take the straps off and just have it as a little bag as well, but manifesting a Celine collab one day, that'd be amazing, but yeah, literally love her moving right along we are almost done so like i said earlier i'm investing in more designer clothing pieces and so i have been eyeing this piece for a while i was gonna buy it in the states and i was like i will just wait until i go to paris to see if they have it because obviously one cheaper and two the memory the experience and they did have it so i purchased the jacques mousse blazer um Again, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I am a blazer girly. I wear blazers in almost every single outfit. So this will definitely get its wear. Um, I love this color. I love the structure. I love oversized. I love how big these pockets are. I literally love everything about it. And yeah, I wanna like keep investing in like high quality pieces and really like purge through my closet and get rid of like trendier pieces that I just like don't wear anymore so that I can make room for my staples but love her so much she fits so well and I'm really excited I did style her and post her on Instagram as well too so I'll insert a photo but so excited for this purchase I think it's so classic and I will get so much wear out of this in all the years to come obviously had to save the best for last so again haven't even opened this yet so you can't go to paris love designer and not buy something from chanel so we did just that um this is i have been wanting something like this for a very long time i have a necklace um and this matches it and i just thought it was so perfect classic timeless it'll become vintage i can pass it on to my daughter like that whole thing so i was so excited when i found this um it is a brooch and I feel like it's so cute to just add to like a blazer. Let's see. Maybe we'll just do this, take the whole thing out. So this is what it looks like. So cute, like to just pin it on, like I said, a blazer, a blouse, whatever stunning it is pearls and I am such a pearl girl so she's so cute and again cheaper in Europe might as well and this will just be such a timeless iconic classic and it'll become vintage eventually so very 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 happy about this 
last but not least this was like number one on my list i wanted to buy a chanel handbag in paris like it's just such a magical experience although you like envision this thing but it's different like everybody in paris is buying chanel which is literally insane you're just like wow like but like everybody is and so we like we went to so many chanel stores we stood in so many chanel lines like we really put in the work danielle found her dream bag literally on the last day we stood in line for an hour before we got that one like the day before we stood in line for an hour to find nothing like it is so hit or miss and the stock is so different like every store and there's literally like 10 of them <laughs> have different inventory so it's like it's definitely a challenge and a hunt and adventure but i feel like that makes it so much more worth it so i personally really wanted a beige bag i wanted the beige mini square bag but no one had it like i went everywhere they're just like no 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 so i was like okay i let go of that and i was like okay if i find one and i feel it then i'll get it and if i don't find one then that's okay like i'm not just here to like blow money like it has to feel right i have to use it like it can't be something i already have so we found one and i'm so excited um yes i absolutely brought the chanel box back if there was one box that was coming back with me it was the chanel box um i did an unboxing on instagram and tiktok so if you followed me there you already see it seen it but i just love all the packaging it comes with like i just like love all this like branding to me is so key like oh i just love when a brand has good branding so obviously brought the box back and again like i said i always keep everything in their dust bags to protect them but last item big reveal she's so stunning so this is the chanel i ended up going with i think she's so stunning um what really caught my eye was the chain when we at the beginning of our trip we were going into the chanel stores there they were everywhere like i watched everyone try them on they were hanging all over the store and then by the end of our trip they were gone nowhere to be seen so I'm so happy I ended up getting one. Um, if you know the history of Chanel, there is the Chanel on the Rue 31 Cambone, and that's where you can get the white bag, but I unfortunately didn't do that, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, this one was from the Chanel on Avenue Montaigne, and I love her. The sales associate who was helping us when we got the brooches was so nice, and then I just happened to try the bag on, and I was like, ugh. I've tried it on literally three different times like it just feels so right like I am such a neutral girly so literally I wear black white beige gray those are like the colors I wear and I already have a black one and I have a super vintage white one from my grandma but I don't use her a lot um, so this one is just like literally so stunning so she's a good size um, this is what she looks like on the inside. I literally saw the stuffing in there too. Um, I'm just like so protective and like, I don't know. I just love her so much. And really, again, the chain is what got me. I'm always wearing chains. I love chains so much. Let me just show you like what I experienced. So I would like put her on in the mirror at the Chanel store and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, can you see guys? <laughs> I was like, wow, just so cute. So, yeah this obviously is going to carry like such a special memory because i love chanel and to be able to buy a chanel in paris is literally a dream come true so i'm so grateful i'm thankful for the opportunity that i was able to do that and i'm in the financial position to be able to do that as well again saved up for a year so yeah this was a really really special moment and i'm so happy so i'll take really good care of her and style her put her away in her box and yeah so that I believe is the end of my haul. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. That is the end of my haul. Again, I know I don't owe an explanation to anybody, but I did save up for over a year for everything, planning all these purchases and whatnot. And it is cheaper to shop in Europe plus the bat refund. So yeah, I literally am obsessed with everything. I'm so excited to wear and style these pieces and just add them to my collection that I'll just be keeping and you know giving to my daughter eventually and all that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it is a little different than what I normally do but I did have a lot of requests for it so yeah I love you guys 
thank you so much follow me on instagram so you can see how i style all these different pieces my i did recently change my instagram handle it is now at alyssa.larson so follow me there i'm on tiktok i'm on pinterest i have a blog i'm kind of all over uh but yeah this paris trip was literally such a dream and if you want to mention this if you guys want to go on a paris trip dream trip as well me and my girlfriend danielle who i went with we're hosting another paris trip next year it's going to be the same time it's going to be in june um it's about a week long and we're so excited so i'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out and sign up for a spot there's only like so many spots available so if you are interested you can sign up or if you have any questions you can dm me on instagram as well but so excited to be going back next year I'm gonna start my list again now and save and really just like prioritize those bigger purchases that are like higher quality and nicer instead of just randomly buying and shopping at like Zara and H&M and all that like I really want to cut down on that and really just like save my money and save for like nice things but again thank you guys so much I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video bye also last thing really quick I forgot to mention this outfit I just had to tell you because it's so good it's from Riona I think that's how you say it this outfit stunning it's from their new collection this top is literally my favorite and then these trousers you guys they have the best basics staples and just really good pieces to invest in so I just wanted to give them a little shout out so